A 16-year-old Norfolk girl continues to cling to life after a driver hit her just outside of Booker T. Washington High School and didn't stop. Three weeks ago, Donasia was struck at the intersection of Virginia Beach Boulevard and Park Avenue. Since then, her pastor has raised concerns about the safety for all children who walk to Booker T. So I went to one area, Calvert Square, to take a look. They need some cameras. They need crossing guards out here. We need to make these streets like a one-way street or something because it's dangerous out here. We take you back to the morning of February 28th when Donasia was left for dead just outside her school. I saw a car pass her and then I saw a woman laying on the ground and she was just laying there moving, not moving at all. We visited the intersection where Donasia was struck and we visited one route her classmates use every day. Tidewater Drive and Virginia Beach Boulevard, eight tenths of a mile from the school. I activated the crossing light. Now watch what happens. For the kids from Calvert Square, this is their very first dangerous crossing. I have 15 seconds to get across. Look at this. Extremely dangerous. No cameras, no crossing guard, no police. Here we go. I have five seconds. I'm going to have to stop right here. Two weeks ago, the pastor who baptized Donasia sounded the alarm about the dangerous trip to Booker T. Washington High School. Tidewater Drive, Virginia Beach Boulevard, two heavily trafficked areas where kids are walking to school. At a minimum, there should be some kind of camera system there to record uh, the traffic. It's, un it's unthinkable. Since then, Pastor Gunn says not one official from City Hall has contacted him to address the safety concerns. With no cameras and so far no witnesses, the top prosecutor says this case may never be solved. What turns it into a felony is leaving. And the reason that it is a felony is because if you stay at the scene, you may be able to save the life of the person. You cannot leave and leave them to die. And that is what makes it really blameworthy. They have been a hit and run. They need police out here, like escorting these kids across the street. Today, I spoke to Donasia's mother, who was at her daughter's side at Centera Norfolk General. Christina Lee has taken leave from her job at a fast food restaurant and is relying on a GoFundMe account to support Donasia and her five siblings. If you would like to help this family, Look for this story later this evening on wavy.com.